Aqua, maybe just the phone for you. From looks alone, it's actually quite difficult to tell the M4 apart from the flagship Xperia Z3, mostly because it's got the same glass front and back, it has the rounded edges which is incredibly similar to the Xperia Z3, and of course typical Sony features like this sticking out power button on the side. It is of course completely waterproof, down to a depth of 1 meter for up to 30 minutes, but thankfully they haven't needed to cover the charging port. The software that Sony has plopped on its phone looks much the same as you'd find on the Z3, although the M4 does come with Android Lollipop, that's the latest version of Google's operating system. It's running on a Qualcomm octa-core processor, which should provide plenty of power, particularly as it's backed up by a hearty 2GB of RAM. Now, on the back of the phone, you'll find a 13 megapixel camera, which is a step down from the 20 megapixels you'll find on the Z3, and there's a 5 megapixel camera on the front of the phone as well for those really awesome selfies. It has a 5-inch display which helps make the phone fairly comfortable to hold, and its 720p resolution does make icons and text look fairly sharp. Interestingly, Sony reckons that the M4 can get a whole two days of use out of a single charge. Now, that is quite a big claim. However, I did find on the Z3 that the battery life was very good, so I do have high hopes of the M4's capabilities here. The crucial factor, of course, for a mid-range phone is the price. Now, Sony says that the M4 Aqua is going to go on sale for €299. Euros. Now, that converts to about £220, which is extremely reasonable, considering what this phone has. We will see exactly how much it is, though, when it goes on sale later in the spring. Make sure to keep your eye on cnet.com forward slash MWC for more of our coverage from the show floor in Barcelona. I'm Andrew Hoyle for CNET, and this is the Sony Xperia M4 Aqua.